Hello, I'm Bob Campbell and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Simon Waghorn from Astrolab, the well-known, I should say, Astrolab Wines in Marlborough. I, I always think of Simon, I think of his marvellous Sauvignon Blancs that he produces, but in this case he's about to introduce you to a Chenin Blanc, which is a little passion of, of, of Simon's, and I, I, I must say I'm very keen on the wine too. Hi, I'm Simon Waghorn, I'm the winemaker and owner at Astrolab Wines in Marlborough, New Zealand. Today I'm going to talk about my sick Southern Valley Chenin Blanc, which is a um, terrific little wine grown on the steep clay hillside of the Recon Vineyard in the Southern Valleys of Marlborough. Chenin Blanc's dear to my heart. It's a variety that I used to use a lot in my early winemaking days in Gisborne, but became pretty much a marginal variety in New Zealand over the years. And now is quite a rarity. These days, the Chenin Blancs that are being made in New Zealand are much finer examples for the variety, and people were taking it very seriously from way back in the day when it was more part of our bulk wine stable. But Chenin is a fine variety. It's uh, known in the Loire Valley in places like Vouvray and Seven Years as one of the uh, more characteristic aromatic whites from that region. And it's uh, also known as one of the, the best wines in the world for ageing and one of the things I particularly like about it is that you can keep it uh, for a long time in your cellar and get a reward from increased value with lovely development in the bottle. Another good thing about it is it's uh, quite friendly to wood and can be presented as a sparkling wine or at any sort of dryness or sweetness level and all of those are successful. So uh, yeah, this is our wine that I'm talking about here. It's the, the sec, it's a beautiful label designed by my daughter Arabella. And she sort of picked out some of the flowers of the vineyard to showcase in that label. Beautiful, nice, crisp wine, uh, the aromatics of um, green apple, that's honey. Uh, also has uh, sort of an indefinable Shannon character that I can never put my finger on, but it sets it apart from other varieties. It has what I'd call Shannon character. Uh, but I try to make it in wine that's beautiful with food. I think of things like uh, pate, summery salads, seafood, all being very favourable accompaniments to this wine. The vineyard itself that we're describing is a biodynamic organic vineyard. It slopes gently to the north, or steeply to the north, I should say, but is um, one of the more remarkable sites around Marlborough for growing grapes. Lovingly looked after by the team there at the Recon, Jeremy Highland and uh, the Johns family. And we pick it by hand, take the bunches to the winery and press them as, as whole bunches in a very, very delicate way in a way like a champagne maker would process his grapes for champagne if he's, say, using Pinot Noir to make a white wine. Very delicately extracted juice to minimise picking up the phenolics from the skins. That gives me a very fine acid and pH structure. We fermented on grape solids. It's all in stainless steel. and really trying to uh, showcase the varietal intensity of the, of the variety. It's a, yeah, just a fantastic, easy drinking style, just off dry, and uh, with a bit of retained CO2 to give it a wee bit of a lift in the, in the nose and on the palate. Yeah, it's wonderful. Recommend that you find some and try some. Also very proud to be in the top wineries of New Zealand. So cheers.